will talk about uniform probability distribution. In this video, we will look at definition and example. It is a distribution where every value has the same probability. It is also known as a rectangular distribution. Next, we will look at the graph of the distribution. These are the common notations and formulas. Shape of the distribution is just a rectangle. That's why it is called rectangular distribution. As you can see in the graph, possible values go from A to B. In other words, minimum value of the distribution is A and the maximum value of the distribution is B. To find probabilities in this distribution, we look at the areas of rectangle, which I will talk about more details with examples later in this video. One thing to note here is, Given maximum and minimum values for the distribution and also the height of the distribution is always 1 over B minus A. Here is our example. Here, number of cars arriving at an intersection is uniformly distributed between 5 and 19. Here, height of this rectangle will be 1 over B minus A, which is, which is 1 over 19 minus 5, which is 1 over 14. Now, let's look at our first problem here. Here, we are supposed to find the probability that number of cars arriving at the intersection is between 7 and 15. So first, let me mark 7 and 15 on the horizontal axis here. So 7 is here and 15 is here. Next, let's draw the area for this probability. So let me draw a line here, a straight line here. And here we are looking at this area. This is a nice, this is a nice rectangle. So the width is this much between 7 and 15. So basically from this point to that point. So that is 15 minus 7, which is 8. And the height, which is 1 over 14. Therefore, the probability is 8 times 1 over 14, which we can simplify as 8 over 14, which reduces to 2 over 7 if, if we divide top and bottom by 2. If you like it in decimal form, it comes out to be 0 0.28. Five seven, rounded to four decimal places. Now let's look at another problem here. We are supposed to find the probability that number of cars arriving at the intersection is greater than 12. Here we need to find the height of this rectangle. It will be 1 over b minus a, which is 1 over 19 minus 5 which is 1 over 14. First, let me mark the 12 in the horizontal axis. So let's say our 12 is right here. Next, let's draw the area for this probability. So let me draw a line, a straight line here. And this is the area that we are looking for. This is a nice rectangle here. The width is this much from point 12 to 19. Therefore, the width here is 19 minus 12, which is 7. Let me just write that down there. And the height is, this is the height. And the height is 1 over 14. Therefore, the probability is 7 times 1 over 14 
which we can simplify as 7 over 14, which reduces to 1 over 2. And if you like it in decimal forms, it comes out to be 0 0.5. Let's look at the very last problem here. Here we are supposed to find the probability that number of cars arriving at the intersection is less than 17. Again, the height of this rectangle will be 1 over b minus a, which is 1 over 19 minus 5, which is 1 over 14. First, let me mark 17 in the horizontal axis. Let's say our 17 is here. Next, let's draw the area in the graph here. So for that, let me draw a straight line. And this is the area we are looking for. The width here is from this point to that point, so basically that is 17 minus 5, which is 12. And the height is from here to here, so that is 1 over 14. Therefore, the probability is 12 times 1 over 14, which we can simplify as 12 over 14, which reduces to 6 over 7. If you like it in decimal form, it comes out to be 0 0.85, 0 0.8571. Reduced to four decimal places. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe our channel. We will be bringing more and more videos on variety of topics.